Okay, hi everyone. We're going to try solving another radical equation here. This one's a little bit more complicated than the previous one. Uh, we've still got two radicals here, but we've got binomials underneath both of them. Um, I still want to isolate uh, one on one side of the equation, and in this case we've already done that. Uh, no, normally what I would do is I would take a look at the restrictions imposed on the, the variable because of the radical. And I can still do that here. Uh, what we're going to see here is the, the square root of 4x plus 5 is going to tell us that 4x plus 5 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now I'm just going to do this quickly. I'm going to move the 5 over, move the 4 over, so it'll become negative 5 quarters. Okay, and then over here, 2x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. And again, I'll do this, sorry, I'll do this quickly here. x has got to be greater than, bring the 1 over, divide by 2, so 1 half. So right now the over, kind of the overarching uh, restriction here is x has to be greater than 1 half. Now additionally, uh, both sides of the equation have to be positive, um, but that basically means that this has to be greater than negative 2, and because the radical is going to be positive anyway, that's, that's really not much of a restriction. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into squaring both sides of the equation. So on the left hand side, that's nice, that just gets, gives us 4x plus 5. But on the right hand side, we have to square the binomial. Whoops, sorry, that won't look like a binomial, so I'll just erase that. Okay, that has to be a binomial, so now I have to distribute both terms from here to both terms here. So we have 4x plus 5 is equal to 4. Now there's going to be 2 times root 2x minus 1, and then root 2x minus 1 times 2, so there's going to be 4 of those total. And then I get to square the, the radical, which will give us 2x minus 1 on that side of the equation. Okay, good. So now, uh, I still have a radical here, and I knew that was going to happen because when you've got two radicals in an equation, squaring it once just isn't going to cut it. So now I bring everything over to the other side here. Now there's a 2x term here, there's a 4x term here, that'll mean 2x when I bring that over. And I've got 4 minus 1 on the right hand side, that's 3. When I subtract 3 from both sides, I'm going to get 5 minus 3, so plus 2. Okay? Now, I can see right now that there's a common factor of 2 to every term on both sides of the equation here. So I'm just going to divide out a 2 on both sides. That's going to get x plus 1 equals 2 root 2x minus 1. Now, the reason why I wanted to look at this question in particular is because of what's happening right here at this step. Uh, I still want to get rid of my radical here. Now, I could divide both sides by 2 here first, just to get completely isolate the radical, but then I'm dealing with fractions. I don't really want that. So, I'm going to square it right now, and I'm going to leave the 2 there. All i got to do is remember that when I square that 2, it becomes a 4. So, the right-hand side becomes 4 times 2x minus 1. Now, on the left hand side here, again, I've got a, a, this is another case of a binomial here, and I'm just going to do this really quickly. This is going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1, which will get me x squared plus 2x plus 1. I ha remember, I have to distribute it, okay? I have to basically make that x plus 1 times x plus 1. Anyway, now this is just a quadratic. So we're right back to where this course started. Uh, I'm going to bring all the terms over so that my quadratic is equal to 0. So it'll be minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. And that's going to factor down to x minus 5, x minus 1 equal to 0. And remember, I'm solving, so I take this one step further and identify what the actual roots are, which will be positive 5 and positive 1. Now compare those to the restrictions that we got early on. X has to be greater than or equal to one half. Well, both of those are, so both of those are actual roots to this equation.